fuck? Um, gods, a bunch of bug fixes, game modes, all game modes, player kill reward XP, decrease the amount of XP for killing lower level players, obviously increased for higher level. Shutdown bonus doesn't affect dual slash arena assault ranked ranked reset ranked players at all MMR values will have some sort of reset applied to them. Uh, capped players will be reset to 3000. Masters and GM will be reset to diamond one. All other ranks for will attain their ranks. Cool. Where's dual? goals nobody cares okay cool new item restoring wand change into rod of asclepius which allied gods within 30 units have 10 percent cooldown reduction and 30 percent increased healing it's actually pretty good it's much better than it was It's much better than it was. Rejuvenating hearts, successfully hitting enemy gods with basic attacks and abilities provide a stack of 6% healing dealt that is consumed by the next ability healed. Max of 8. You may only gain one stack per god per ability hit, but it also stacks on basics. That's a lot of healing. So 30% with some cooldown or 50% more healing. This has more health and mana, but less power. This has more power, less health and mana. Much more expensive though. Um, This has a little bit of base pen and a lot of power. And it's very cheap. 2,400. Okay, 2,400 gold for 100 power is cheap. Very cheap. After healing an ally with an ability, you gain 10 magical power per 10% of your of their missing health. So this is dog shit and duel. Okay, fair. Fortified Scepter is now its own tree. Cad shield, healing dealt by 30%. CCR and movement speed. Worse aura than the CDR one, to be honest. Gives you 10% attack speed, 5% basic attack, Stacking three times. So 30% attack speed, 15% basic attack damage. After you heal yourself. But only... If it works on ticking heals, it would be very good. If it works on tick healing, like Oleron would... Oh, it's a physical power item. I, I don't know. Hercules. It could be good on Hercules. 40 power, 20% attack speed. Could be good on Chiron, yeah. The stats just leave so much to be desired. Like, they're just not good stats. After healing yourself for an ally guy with an ability for the next six seconds, each time you damage an enemy god, your non-ultimate ability cooldowns are reduced by 0.5 seconds. The reduction can only occur once per second, and the effect may only occur once every 12 seconds. Oh, okay. Wait. Reduction can only occur once per second, and the effect... Oh, the effect of the six-second buff... So this is three seconds off your cooldowns after you heal yourself. That's really good. This is what meditation is. Meditation is one second off your cooldowns for three seconds. And you have to pay 800 gold for this. This might, this might be worth fucking about. No, pots don't include healing. It doesn't count as healing. 
Another new item, Erosion. <clears throat> it's a hybrid tank item. Every time an enemy within 30 units gives a shield, you gain movement speed. Any shields applied on enemy gods within 30 seconds will be reduced by 30%. No one's going to buy that item literally ever. Unless they're against a Nike, maybe. Enemies hit... And we'll have shields applied on them reduced by 50%. So they're just reducing shields with this stuff. Critical hits on enemy god will poison them for 3 seconds. Slows them by 10%, reducing their healing by 35%. Oh, it's anti-heal now. It's anti-heal, anti-shield, and movement speed. It used to be anti-damage. They've removed the damage reduction. Made it anti-heal and anti-shield. That's really fucking good. Six hundred gold for thirty five percent healing. Okay. That's that's really good. They nerfed claw shard by a tiny bit. Five percent and then two percent on physicals. Uh, they nerfed the healing. Whatever. All that shit doesn't matter. Nerf the healing. Whatever. Starters don't... Li they literally don't matter in duel, so we just skip all this shit. Who cares? Okay. Um. They nerfed lifesteal. Nerfed the stacking amount of lifesteal. And nerfed how much pen you get on evolution. But they increased the power. And they added power. They added pen per stack. Okay. So at the end, you get more power, more pen, but less lifesteal. All right. I mean, I don't know why. This item is literally only bought to lifesteal, and you're reducing it. So that makes no sense, but whatever to me. 10% attack speed to the item. That's the best item to start now. That's just the best item. 75 power. Movement speed. Attack speed, life steal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're starting with Blood Forge every game. Decrease life steal by about a half for Soul Eater, but increase the power. Kind of fucky. Decrease the lifesteal by, again, half from Aussie, but increase the power. So they're just reducing lifesteal all across the board by 40%. And trying to make up for it by giving everything more damage. Yeah, more power. More power, less lifesteal. Higher cost, higher power. Less lifesteal and scaling. More mana. More passive floor. Less lifesteal, more power, more pen. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Twenty twenty six fifty for twenty percent pen and eighty five power with a little bit of lifesteal sprinkled on top. That is so good. Okay. Interesting. Teleport got buffed. Or nerfed, I mean. Tele Teleport got nerfed. Crossbound got buffed. Nobody's gonna buy it anyways. It's still dog shit. Uh, it got 5 power and 50 gold. Who cares? Um, It's got buffed. 100 gold. Still dog shit. This got nerfed. More health, but less mitigation. Mitigation is the only reason you buy this item. It goes from 12% to 
with 50 more health. It's it's going to be similar. You're going to feel similar buying it. That really doesn't change too much. 10% damage output reduction to the diva. So you hit someone after you ult them. They will do 10% damage reduction. Okay. Fair enough. Trans got buffed by 100 gold. That's really good. This got buffed by 5. 5% 5 attack speed, 5 power. This got buffed by 150. Whoa. And this got buffed by 10 power. Okay. Give the middle finger to mages because hunters now have Bloodforge, which is OP. They have Transcendence. They have Fail Not doing more damage reduction, and they have Crit Chances buffed and Griffin Wing is buffed. Middle finger to, to mages. And, and, and anti-heal on Deathbringer. Don't forget about that. So every single crit item except Rage so far has been buffed. And Bloodforge got Omega buffed. And Griffin Wing got a 20% buff. You know, from 45 to 55. Okay. I mean, crit's going to slap. I don't know. This item now has you gain 6 GP5 if you have the lowest gold on your team. You gain 8 GP5 if you have the lowest gold on your team? Excuse me? Okay. Heroism was already amazing. I don't know why they're I guess they're I guess they're buffing it. My, okay, here's my assumption. They're buffing heroism because everything is reducing shields now. So heroism is being buffed because, you know, makes sense. Um <clears throat> Divine does half as much damage from the proc. Oh man, okay. This is huge. That's actually huge. 15 power and proccing at 60% instead of 50%. This is really big. This is really big. I think Rod is gonna go back to being core in mages with this build or with the, with this buff. Um, removed mana, added 10% pen, and increased move speed from four to six. Okay, so don't don't middle finger mages then. Don't middle finger the mages. They got some redeeming qualities. All of their lifesteal items got shit on, except hyphens, which got 20% pen. Doomorph now has 10% pen. Deso is 150 cheaper. Rod of Tahuti got even stronger. Divine does half as much damage. Which isn't great, but I mean, Rod of Tahuti and Spear of Deso are core in a lot of mage builds, and they both got buffed significantly. So that's pretty good. All right, Aphrodite. I guess I have to go through this. She now shares 50% of her MP5 and 20% of her physical and magical protections with her soulmate instead of sharing a portion of her mana regen. That's whatever. Instead of sharing a portion of her mana regen. Bitch, you're literally sharing 50% of her mana regen. The fuck are you talking about? Is this a, is this a mistype? Yes, but no. Perfect. Moving on. Decreased healing per tick ability and now applies a flat quarter, a quarter second cooldown per tick to self and allies, including on this ability. So. So this cooldown, this, 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 this ability gives two seconds off your cooldown for you on itself, like on. Huh? 
Huh. Okay. Yikes. Using this ability now provides five seconds of jealousy buff to Aphrodite and her soulmate, increasing their damage output by set amount. <clears throat> That's fair. That's just her passive, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, Hell Stance, new Light Stance passive Hell now applies 8% power reduction to enemies in an aura radius instead of giving increased healing to her allies. That's really good. The one goes through walls! They wanted to give Aphra a tier 5. Yeah, they wanted to give Aphrodite a tier 5. So what they did was they were like, okay, nobody likes Afro and nobody wants an Afro tier 5. Let's make it anyways and then buff Afro. And that way people will want it. That's what they did. This is really, really good, by the way. This does less healing, which doesn't matter for duel because it literally never healed in duel. And it also does damage. And now damages and passes through minions and provides a mana heal. Mana heal on successful. Okay. Decrease self heal, obviously. Decrease ally heal, obviously. Uh, also affects ally minion heal. Now provides 20% attack speed. What are you, what are you going to fucking do? Auto attack Afro coming at you. Hell, I meant. One second off your stance switch. Okay. I would like to point out. Before. Before anyone says anything else, I just want to say, I want to be the first to say it. Hell is going to be meta. She's going to be very strong in duel. She's going to be very strong in conquest. She's going to be very strong in joust. She's going to have the items to back it up. She is not going to be a healer. She's going to be a mage. She's going to be doing damage and you need to be scared of her because she's going to fucking hurt. I want you to know, everyone be prepared. Hell is going to rise up in this patch. Just, just be ready for it. <clears throat> All right. Decrease healing. Yeah, like everything else on the fucking planet. Increase shield health. Increase damage done. That also affects shield damage. Yeah. All right, what does this do? Oh! That's good. For those of you who don't know, by the way, about... No, all healers were nerfed. Every single one was nerfed. But about five years ago, Sylvanas 2, or Sylvanas itself, was released into Smite onto the battlegrounds of the gods. And his two hit minions. And it also healed minions. So what you would do... Uh, back when Sylvanas was in the game and his two hit minions is you would let your ADC and your solo laner lane together and Sylvanas in the duo lane by himself pressing two on the minion wave both keeping the, his minions alive and killing theirs at the same time obviously they're scared of that happening again which is why they reduced the damage and also made it only do a quarter damage but um, they need to be very careful with this hitting minions again because it was fucking game-breaking. It was actually game-breaking. I just want everyone to know this happened before. It broke the game. They removed it. This is scary. I think a quarter is fine, but like if they buff it, we're fucked. <clears throat> Uh, removed healing reduction debuff ability.
Dude, that's the whole reason you... That's the whole reason you play Chang'e. Is that the Chang'e can get the vine and have 100% anti-heal. That's the whole reason you play her. Okay. <clears throat> I know about her healing Devo. This is good though. I mean, let's be honest. This is good. 5% more damage stacking three times. You just use straight up 15% more damage. That is good. <clears throat> they don't need anti-heal on them if they're fucking dead. That's what this says. <laughs> That's what this says. Who needs anti-heal if you can just fucking kill them? Fair enough, I guess. Okay. Raw's three got everything changed. Um, Decreased healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Increased protections. That's good. Increased power. Increased magical power. Decreased cooldown and decreased mana cost. So, less healing. Everything else is better. That's good. His alt got 5% damage reduction, but a new damage component that deals true damage equal to 5% of the target's max health. That's better. That's more damage. That's more, that's more damage. Because if you have a thousand power, like your full build 3k pot, you have a thousand power. 5% is of a thousand power is not going to equal 5% of the 4,000 health that they have. So this is, this is better. Raw, raw. Nice. I like it. I like the change. Guan Yu, healing nerf, uh, flat CDR on all allies healed. Increased stacks of three to four. This, 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 very big. This is very big. That's more, for those who don't know what the stacks do, it's more protection shred. So level three in duel, Guan Yu's three is going to be doing true damage. From the fourth hit onwards of Talo Assault, he, you're taking true damage. That's what that means, basically. So Guan's early game is going to be really strong. Um, Terra provides protections in her heal instead of healing, basically. Her alt does less healing. Remove the healing over time, but increased mitigation. Honestly, I think this is good. 5% more mitigation for 90 health, or actually kind of a, a lot of healing reduction, but I don't know. Horus. Increased protection stacks from 1.5 to 2.5. That's huge. Decrease the heal you get from your stacks. Okay. By half, by the way. Um, So... You're tankier, but you don't heal as much. That's a good trade-off, I think. His three got a mana buff. A what? That's got to be a typo, right? Six seconds? He heals for nothing? Yas, you don't understand. It doesn't matter if you heal for nothing when you're as mobile as Sirket. You go in there, you go, you throw him up, and then you, you wing us, and then you dash back out. And then you do it again in 10 seconds. Yeah, and with, with max cooldown, which, by the way, he's a warrior, so he gets 10% cooldown into his kit already.
That's crazy. All right, decrease healing per tick. You don't get anything special. All right, fair enough. Uh, decrease heart. Now passive stack whenever here picks up an ability. That's actually really good. So now you use your two. It doesn't heal you very much. I mean, as you can see, but you use your two to stack your passive. That's fine. <clears throat> this ability now applies slow immunity for the buff duration instead of a slow cleanse. So it doesn't heal very much, but it does make your entire team slow immune if they're close to it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, reduced cooldown on the two or the three for two seconds. Increased mitigation by 5%. Lower healing though. Damage just stays the same. Um... The healing is not that much different. It's 215. I mean, I don't know. At max rank, it's pretty big. 570 plus nine or 570 plus plus 75% of your magical power. That's probably somewhere around a thousand. And this is 645. So it's a pretty significant healing reduction. But 5% more mitigation when you're in it. Um, decreased healing. Increased power debuff. Increased self buff. Decreased heal, heal per hit. Increased slow from the three. Increased movement speed from the alt. Not really. Honestly, they didn't need to do this. All they did is add 0.5% movement speed per level of the alt. <laughs> Oh, wow. You're going to rank up your alt to level two and really feel the difference. You go from 475 to 476. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Cthulhu, increased attack speed slow. Increased base damage. By the way, I always look at these numbers. The level, the max level number. Those make the biggest differences, right? So if the max level numbers are the same, you really don't need to care about them. The attack speed slow from 10 to 20, like do literally double at level three or one at level rank one is kind of a, a big deal, but like at max rank, it doesn't matter. Um, This doesn't really matter. Decreased self damage of this ability, decreased ally healing, Reduced healing while Cthulhu is below 20% health. Yeah, this is all normal stuff. Non-team healer god balance. A huge amount of smite gods have some sort of form of self-healing. So this is a huge balance pass. Certain gods are already performing well. Had their healing nerfed. No other changes to compensate. Manticorus, Mage DC, and Al Kong. The rest of the gods received buffs to mitigate to or overshadow their self-healing nerfs. Some of them are especially spicy. I don't care. Okay. Gift from the gods. More protection or power. That's his passive, by the way. I think that's... um. I think that's if you have your thing on or your thing off. You either have more power or more defense. And then they just reduce the healing from his two. AMC... Increased HP 5 per level, or increased HP per level. Increased basic attack power per level. Removed passive heal. Oh, that's big. This is crazy. Oh, actually, it's not. So the, instead, of his hive used to heal him. But now it just gives him HP 5. So it doesn't, this is their way, by the way, it, for those who don't know. AMC was bugged. He procced Lotus Sickle and um, Lotus Crown and shit like that. Like, he would proc all the healing items because he heals from this. Uh, so this is their fix for it. They removed the passive healing and turned it into HP 5. That's fine. Decreased max HP when you pick up a corpse from 7 to 5. That's a pretty significant nerf. Two seconds off the... 
E1. That's pretty big buff. But this kind of evens out. He's kind of the same. Um, Increased m movement speed, but not at max rank. The same at max rank. And decreased heal per tick. Decreased healing. Decreased healing increase per stack from 33 to 20. Okay, so for... Okay. That's a weird way to say it. But his passive would give you increased healing per stack you did. <clears throat> and they're decreasing his increased healing from 33 to 20. Weird way to do it, but... Abilities can now move at 50%. A bit, Anubis can now move at 50% speed while using this ability and now deals damage every quarter second instead of half second. And they decrease the damage by a lot. They halved the damage. 95 with 40% scaling to 50 with 20% scaling. They halved the damage. Oh, you're right. It does take twice as much. Okay, you're right. Okay. Okay, so then it gain then he gains <clears throat> 30 damage. <clears throat> All right, less healing from Al Kong's passive, less healing from Arachne One, <clears throat> forty percent healing reduction on Arachne One. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Targets stunned by Cocoon have their active cooldowns increased by two seconds. <clears throat> That's big. Decreased healing, decreased cooldown, decreased mana. That's good. Decreased healing, doesn't matter. Decreased reduction. Debuff now applies 40% healing. Oh. Wow. Oh. What the fuck? It heals for less. Actually, at max rank, it technically heals for about the same. I mean, 70% of your power, you normally don't build that much power. You normally build attack speed. So, like, I'd say on average, you have about 250 power on Boxer. About 70% of that, you got about, uh, I don't know. It heals for about 350. But now it heals for 280, twice as much. It's actually better. It's actually just better. It's just a huge, de it's a huge buff. And he has 40% anti-heal built into his kit now. And Deathbringer has anti-heal on it now. <clears throat> so you don't even need to build anti-heal on Bakasura anymore. You just jump on them and then crit them and they have no anti-heal. Or they have no healing. Yeah, and eat minion. This, by the way, this only this doesn't only heal you. This gives you protections too. This gives you protections and mana back. It gives you mana back, and you can do it twice as fast. 
Okay. And two seconds off your cooldowns. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> okay. Decreased lifesteal, increased damage. Pretty basic. Increased damage and slow, but only by 10. And decreased healing, but only by 13. So, Bologna is really the same. Uh, Half as much healing... Decrease essence drinker buff from 6% physical life still and increase healing to 3%. I don't know. I his passive sucks. Um his one is exactly the same. His two. Oh, his one his one got a little buff. His two now provides anti-heal. <clears throat> It doesn't heal for much at all. It's actually dog shit. And through some of the thing. Okay. Decrease healing per hit and in Okay. Um don't pick Kamazots anymore. He's dog shit. Not a character you want to play anymore. Um increase healing reduction, increase healing stolen from 50 to 80%, bitch. You're telling me that by just being next to me, you're going to eat my pots and your pots the same way? <clears throat> okay. They increase the stun on the one. Uh, not really. Same at max rank. Heal per minion got changed. Heal per god got changed. Decreased soul health. Okay. His three sucks, but his one and his two are really good. I'm not reading that. That sounds obnoxious. Okay, I'll read it anyways. 5% less lifesteal. Same shit there. Really the same shit there. Really the same shit there. And really the same. Okay, so his one, 5% less healing. Everything else is the same. Um... Chox 3 got absolutely fucked. But he increased the... Uh, well, the rank 1 attack speed reduction is absurd. From 5 to 15. So a Chalk early game got better. Chalk late game got worse. And his ult does 50 more base damage. Um, increase base power and magical power from your passive, but lower the cooldown on your two. Also decent. Decrease healing on your two. Decrease healing on your one. Or decreased anti-heal on your one, I should say. Increase base damage by 10. Decrease healing. Increase movement speed and leaf movement speed. By not much. Decrease life steal, de increased damage reduction, but not at high rank. This is crazy. This, this is, this is good. His alt is good. It, it doesn't heal you for shit, but it will give you 25% damage mitigation and taunt for one and a half seconds, which is good. That's a good alt. You're going to be able to actually fight when you alt something. Most people, when they alt as Erlang, they alt and run away because they're trying to live while their heal goes off. Now, you alt and you punch them in the head. <clears throat> Increase protections by 10 for your passive. Increase attack speed. Decrease the healing. That's fine. Oh, okay. This needed to happen. They decreased the healing from Fenris 2 from 35% to 20%. Honestly, I'm not even mad. That's deserved. Decreased life steal from Freya passive, also deserved. Increased attack power from Gilgamesh, also deserved. Decreased the life steal. Honestly, didn't even know it had any. 
Um, and decrease cooldown. Okay. That's fine. Nothing spectacular there. Increased cooldown reduction per hit from... They doubled it. This works on minions. By the way. I just, I'm going to let that sink in because I don't think you guys understand. It is per tick, per minion, plus God. Let me, okay. Let me put it simply. Six times 0.4 is 2.4 seconds off your cooldowns. Which means, oh, by, well, if you, okay, times seven. It's 2.8 seconds. That means every time, if you alt um, if you alt a minion wave and they're fighting in the wave, every time your alt ticks damage, you get three seconds off your cooldowns. Your one, your two, and your three. That's what that means. It was one. It was it was one second when it was 0. 0.2, like 1.4. Now it's 2.8. That's stupidly strong. And okay. And let's just say this too. Let's just say this as well. Let me say that they're not going to fight in a minion wave because they have a brain cell or maybe two, right? And you get at least three ticks of this off before they run out of your alt, even with beads or a jump or anything, right? You almost always get three ticks off. Instead of getting half a second of your cooldowns off, you're getting one and a half seconds of your cooldowns off. Even if you have a really shitty alt. That should not happen. This should, this, this right here should be reverted. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, okay. Two seconds and more man or less mana. That's really, really good. Okay. So huge driving strike buff. Huge earthbreaker buff. Decreased healing and decreased damage returned. Okay. So he's going to do a lot more damage and have more outplay potential, but he's not going to heal as much. Yeah. Decreased heal on kill from 60 to 40 and heal on assist from 20 to 15. Decrease or increased damage by 15. Decreased heal from the target. Nimble strike is her one, by the way. Decreased lifesteal you get by 10%. Increased stun duration. And decreased cooldown. And they increased the power by not too much. Hmm. Honestly, overall, I'd say Kali's kind of the same in duel, but a lot worse in conquest. Manticorus, less life steal, less damage reduction, still o still OP. Medusa, less healing reduction. Same shit. Reduce cooldown by nothing. Decrease missing health by. Alright, so she gets four percent less health per alt hit. Okay. That's fine. Mulan gets two seconds off early game. Nothing off late game. Increase slow, decrease healing. That's fine. None of these are like game changing. Nothing's really game changing. So far. Other than Hades. And Bakasura. And Horus. Other, and Hercules. Other than those, they're not game changing. Um... Increase slow. Increase base damage by five. Who fucking cares? Decrease healing from 100% to 70% and lower the cooldown. Uh, 
lower cooldown on that is good for the early game. More proc tread honestly doesn't matter too much. Actually, double proc tread at early game is pretty good. Increased damage of the jump. Oh no, increased damage. I knew it, bitch. Okay. Earlier we were doing the the smite thing and it said Sentinel and I said it was Nike's alt and you were like no bitch that still is three. It is Sentinel of Zeus. It's it's fucking Sentinel. I knew it was. Anyways, it does twice as much damage. That's OP. <clears throat> Odin gets some cooldown off of his shield. Do I have that? Pokey check. Pokey catch ultra ball. Poggies. Okay, you just doubled the amount of power she gets per level. Sick. And decrease the healing. She's going to blow bitches up. Actually nuke them. These buffs were made for Yas. They were. Increased damage by 10% on the alt. But lowered the healing on the harvest. But decreased the cooldown on the harvest. Honestly, I'll take this. as I will take this as a, a blanket Persephone buff. Um, Ratatasker. Increased power with the... Well, I only really care about the max rank acorns. Increased power, but decreased healing. Increased power, but decreased healing. Increased power, but decreased lifesteal. And increased... Damage per acorn blast, but decreased reduction floor. I don't know what reduction floor is. Oh, damage reduction for multiple acorns. Okay. Okay. I get it. And a big buff for early game. Rats 3 is going to do more damage. Rats 3 early game is going to do much more damage. And late game too, actually. 130 to 170 and 20% more scaling. What does it mean reduction floor? So the the reduction floor is the lowest amount of damage reduction that they have. So instead of it being 25% at the lowest amount, it's 20% at the lowest amount. But Ratataskers 3 is going to fucking clap cheeks. Robin got decreased timer on his kick by two seconds early game, which is really good, and decreased healing from his three, which honestly doesn't matter too much. Set has decreased healing from his alt, but 5% more move speed, and decreased damage reduction, or increased damage reduction from his three, but decreased cooldown too. This is really good. I think this is very good. Oh god, please just have a Shiva rework. The alt, at least. His other abilities are great, but his alt sucks. His passive, twice as much HP 5 and MP 5 from his Bliss Aura, and twice as much debuff from his Destruction Aura. Two seconds off of his 2, which is very, very good. Increased mana restoration, decreased healing. You, you're going to nerf Shiva's healing on his alt? It's already terrible. At best, it's a glorified meditation. That's weird. Um, all right, tail whip increased damage by not that much, but still damage 10, 10 damage across the board. One second off the thing, decrease healing, decrease reduction, decrease healing. Oh, by a really big amount. I was going to scroll through that, but that's a, almost half as much healing. You're healing about 60% of what you used to on soul on her one. That's pretty significant. Attack speed debuff on Sun Wukong's two is now 35% instead of 25, which is huge. Uh, two seconds off the early game, which is massive and less healing by 1.5 per tick in the alt. Overall, what is that? 7.5% less health. Doesn't really matter. Decreased heal per tick from 1 to 6, or 1 to 0.6. Thanatos. 
Decreased health cost from abilities to 5 from 4 and ulti from 10 to 8. Decreased HP restored from gods and minions when you get last hits. Decreased cooldown of the scythe by 1 second and decreased the amount of healing you get. Decreased the cooldown of the 3 by 1 second and increased the base damage and stun duration of alt. Okay, so Thanatos is he's less like I'm going to sustain and poke my head in and like hit you with scythes and then fight you after. And he's more like, I'm going to jump in and fucking blow you up. And if I don't, oh, well, I'm dead. That's kind of what it is. That's kind of Thanatos' new thing. Tiamat, decreased large heal and small heal. Doesn't really fucking matter. Um, Tsukiyumi's 2 got increased damage. So 10 base damage. And less healing from his passive. Decreased cooldown from stance change from 12 down to 10 to just 10. That's really good for the early game. Decreased healing on his 2. Whoa. 2 seconds off of his 2, which is his movement speed and, and bow buff ability. Um... I think that means his bow buff ability at max cooldown is permanent. If you're always in bow stance. Because you can... So I think... I think... Uller's bow buff and move speed ability is now permanent. And Hail of Arrows just gets one second off, but he gets Luff's Lifesteal from his passive that nobody fucking used anyways. Uh, increased base attack speed is good. Increased power conversion is good. Increased attack speed conversion is great. Increased protections, increased power, decreased lifesteal. Okay. Very good. Very good for Vimana. He needed that one. Mm. And then de decreased healing from Zong Kuei. Two seconds off your, your stun. Holy shit. Two seconds off your stun. And. Okay. Let me explain why this is so big. First off, having two seconds of a, of a cooldown that's a stun is really strong. But this is such a big buff. Because you level his Book of Demons last, which is Zonkwe's three in case anyone's curious. You level his, his three last every time. So, now that you don't need to level it to get the maximum rank of the stun, which, by the way, is two seconds because it's twice as much for marked targets. So, it's a two-second stun. You can two-second stun someone at level three instead of one-second stun them, which is massive. It's massive. You're doubling the, his early game fight from, like, level one... To 13. <clears throat> From 1 to 13, they've just doubled how long Zonkwe stuns. That's actually fucking huge. And that's it. This is this is gonna make him so much better in duel. Um, so I would look out for Hades, Hercules, <clears throat> this patch, I'd look out for Hades, Hercules, Anubis, Zongkwe, nobody else. Oh, and Bakasura, of course, Hades, Hercules, Zongkwe, Bakasura, Anubis. You don't really need to look out for Horus unless you're playing Conquest. <laughs> All right. Cool beans. That's actually sick. That's good stuff. <clears throat> By the way, I'm sure they're still talking about fucking skins, bro. This is also kind of going through a yeah, I was, I was like, <laughs> They're going through Manticorus' 